Hey friends, how are y'all? It is Saturday night. Usually I only see y'all on Monday nights. So, um, hey, how's your weekend going? So, all right, usually I don't, I, I try and stick to, you know, just um, the Monday night Facebook lives or whatever. But, this is one of those things that I think that if you get sucked into those um, Facebook ads um, and you start seeing them over and over and over and over, you um, probably start getting a bit curious or whatever. And um, Facebook totally got me. Their ads totally won. I got sucked in. And um, <laughs> yeah. So um, over the past like month or so, I have seen um, these brandless ads. Never heard of it before, whatever. Um, went to the Facebook page and I've got several friends that like it, so of course it makes sense why I would see it. Um, so after seeing it come across my feed several times, I decided to start looking at the comments, see what people are saying, because most of the time you can kind of gauge how a company um, runs or what its products are like depending on the comments that are within, you know, the section or whatever. So um, I started looking at all of um, Brandless's comments and surprisingly the majority of them were very, very, very positive. So at that point I started doing my research and um, it's like legit, like, well, from what I can tell is legit. Just like it. Now, um, the whole, which is weird, is because I'm like, how can you be a company and name yourself um, brandless, yet you are a brand? Well, from what I was reading on their site, um, they created their own brand and from what I understand is when you go into a store and you buy a product, a lot of times that product has a markup of like 40% because you are paying just for that brand name to be stapled on that product. So say you go in to buy a deodorant and um, you're going to pay like nearly three to four bucks for, you know, let's say secret deodorant, you're paying 40% more just to have that secret label on it. Well, Brandless is trying to cut out that brand and they created their own brand that way so um, they can make healthier options cheaper. Um, there's tons and tons and tons of people that want to have a healthier lifestyle. They want to buy healthier products. They want to buy products that are organic, that have more natural ingredients, that are safer for us, but they're expensive. We can't buy them if they're expensive. So that's what um, Brandless has done is they have cut out the big name brands and they have offered or they've created a shop online online grocery store of healthier options. And um, what is nice is every single thing on the site is three dollars. Three dollars. Now, if there's some products that you would think that ooh, that's only going to be like. $1.50 if I go to the store, a lot of times they put like two or three together or something like that. Um, they do have bundles where if you wanted to buy a bulk of something or an assortment of something, they bundle it together for a little bit cheaper. And um, what was nice is for my very first order, it was only $1 shipping. So there was that. The other thing I noticed is um, they've partnered with Feed America. Now, I did not go and read all the little fine print and everything, but from what I understand, every time you um, shop on Brandless, a meal is um, donated to Feed America. Come on. You get cheaper products that are healthier, safer for you, and, um, I mean, you're feeding someone. You're giving a meal to someone. So, they have tons of food products, cleaners, health, beauty, home office. Um, they're all non-GMO. Over half of it is certified organic. Um, the cleaners are non-toxic non and safer um, chemical and standards set by the EPA. Um, no animal testing. They're, they've banned over 400 um, harmful ingredients. Um, the paper products are made to be easily recyclable. 
I mean, you're talking coffee, tea, chips, um, pasta, spices, bathroom cleaners, um, dishes, you know, dish cleaner, kitchen stuff, TP, foil, body washes, lotion, facial care, skin care, vitamins, hair care, plates, mugs, linen, journals, and that's just the list. I've got, you know, I've made myself some notes or whatever. All right, so open up the box. Here we go. Woohoo! Now, I placed my order last Sunday night, and it was like 9 o'clock by Sunday night. I got my order today, Saturday. Um, Woohoo! You've gone brandless. Open me up. Let's see what this says. Welcome to brandless. And then at the back, it's got, let's see, um, over the last few years, we've been working day and night to bring brandless to light on the idea that people deserve better, better ingredients, better pricing, better everything, really. So, and it goes a little bit longer. And there is a fun little card or whatever. And then, of course, there is my order form or what I ordered. Now, in all honesty, I can't remember what I ordered. <laughs> yep. So, but um, I'm excited, though. I always keep this paper. It's good for packing other stuff. All right. So, first thing I ordered. Now, y'all know I am big on my essential oils and stuff. So, um... Let's see what happens here. Hey, I ordered facial lotion. These are, that's the bottle. Facial lotion. Um, moisturizing aloe, no parabens, no phthalates, flat, flat, I can't say it. No animal testing and um, fragrance spray. The same. It's got a thingy on it. Yep, no fragrance. Facial lotion. If I recall, I also got the cleanser as well. Um, anti-oxidizing, anti sapphire oil, gluten-free, yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, there's facial cleanser, yeah, there we go, yep, facial cleanser, also antioxidant, ex I can't say, anti-oxidizing fruit extract. Does that mean it has a tiny bit of a smell? Yes, very grapefruity. Which, if you're familiar with essential oils, um, grapefruit is good for the skin. All right, I got a women's multivitamin. Yep, um, non-GMO, excellent source of vitamin A, B, and E. Um, of course, it's got where you can peel back and see exactly what's in it. But yep, so I got a multivitamin. Again, $3. So I think my total was like $37. So it was $36 of product, $1 shipping. Um, hand cream, lemon verbena, um, soothing lemon extract, no parabens, no phthalate, flat, I can't, P H T H A L A T E S, no animal testing, whatever. I need like a pronunciation cue or whatever. It's very, it's, with it being lemon verbena, you smell the lemon verbena, but it's not like overly strong. Very light, which is awesome. That is very, very good. So you can like put it on and like when you walk by someone else, you're not going to get like that over, you know, powering smell. Hand cream. Same, moisturizing shea butter, no parabens, and this is citrus bergamot, which if you are familiar with bergamot, is wonderful for emotions. And just as light, very creamy, very thick, which means you don't need a ton, and it smells awesome. It's awesome. Very, ooh, I like that a lot. And y'all, I just want to say, there is no kind of like referral program or anything as far as I can tell. So I'm not getting any kind of like royalties or referral things from this. Shampoo, which if y'all notice, all of this product and stuff is like very simply labeled. Um, moisturizing shampoo, antioxidizing rosemary extract, and I love the smell of rosemary. Again, how now? Of course, it's a shampoo, so it's not going to 
go on as well. So light. I mean, that is super awesome. Not over a pound. Super, super light. That's pretty cool. Okay. I ordered some surface cleaning wipes. Um, I actually have not bought Lysol wipes or any of those other wipes in forever. So, um, and Young Living actually does not, well, no, they've got Thieves wipes, but that's not something I would use to like do like my whole, oh no, I don't want that many. I wouldn't do my whole bathroom in Thieves wipes. That's something that I would use like if I'm out, um, you know, the toilets or something like that. Grocery store, you know, cart handles. Okay. Again, very, it's not like this overpowering like chemical smell. But it smells clean. Does it have a scent on it? Yes, lemon verbena. It smells very good though, very fresh. Like you smell. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, so, and then I checked out, um, I only did one of their like extra, or two of their food items. Um, but again, they've got pasta, they got spices, they got herbs, they got um, like pancake mixes, they've got um, salsas, they've got um, just tons and tons of granola, tons of stuff on there. So you really got to go and look. They got, um, this is what I ordered coconut, lemon, cream cookies. Again, everything's three dollars. And because this is, uh, you know, I gotta critique everything. <laughs> so what's. Oh no. I approve. Yep. Lemon, you taste the lemon with the slightest hint of coconut. That's pretty awesome. I, seriously, I got poems like everywhere. I'm actually like vacuum out my craft room. Probably need to be done anyway. Alright, I'm gonna put that down for a second. Okay, I also ordered some, um, I am a sucker for gummies. Gummy worms, the little peaches, the watermelons. I love gummies. I know a lot of people don't care for gummies. I love gummies. Um, gummy fruit wedges. I don't know if they all taste different. No preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup. Fat free. Um, cane sugar is the first ingredient. Tapioca syrup, cornstarch, dextrose, um, non-GMO corn. Uh, yeah, so surprisingly there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They got like nine ingredients listed. I mean, of course, you know the more ingredients, the um, worse it is for you. So, I mean, of course, straight sugar. They're not great for you. Yep. I can get on board with that. It's solid. Like, and it's like grapefruit. I don't have the flavors. Yeah. Ooh, if you like tart, I'll get you. <laughs> Yeah, that's good though. And it looks like there's pink and yellow and orange. Okay. And then they have um, an assortment of like home and office products. Like you could go and you could order like, I want to say it was like mugs and plates. And I want to say they were each $3. I may be mistaken though. It could have been um, like two mugs for a dollar or $3. Something like that. I can't remember. But they had journals. They had um, like writing, you know, like pens and pencils, all that kind of stuff. But I was in need of a new, um, of new measuring cups. So check out these babies on a ring. On a ring. Ooh, and they are like solid. It's that good heavy duty, you know, plastic. Yep. 
So I got one fourth cup, one third cup, one half cup, and one cup. You know, those easier for um, storage. Yep. Four of those. Three dollars. And it's like heavy duty, awesome plastic. In all honesty, I'm probably going to remove the ring. I don't understand why they do that because how often do you need all four of them at one time? But um, that's awesome. I like that. And then I ordered a set of measuring spoons, which they have got a um, tiny little thing around that. You get one tablespoon, one teaspoon, one half teaspoon, and one fourth teaspoon. Of course, all on a ring. And they are equally as durable and um, fit very snugly together. So there you go. Measuring spoons, gummies, cookies. Um, cleaning wipes, multivitamins, face lotion, um, face cleanser, um, hand cream, shampoo, and more hand cream. So, right now, I am, and of course, cookies, which I don't, well, here you go. Yeah, cookies. Um, yeah, so, so far, I'm calling that a win. What you think? You got any questions? So, if you're like me and you've been seeing that um, brandless ad, you know, pop up on your um, news feed, go check them out. Um, there's got to be something on there that you will probably, you know, be interested in. Um, feel free to shoot me your questions. Um, shows you everything I got here. Opened up the box right here. Um, let me know. So, there you go. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. And um, I'll see y'all Monday night. What are we doing? We're making um, a cool little recipe, a fun little recipe that you can do with your leftover, not leftover, if you have an abundance of Easter candy from tomorrow, a recipe that you can use some of it tomorrow night. There you go. Or Monday night. Monday night. Yeah. Monday night, we are making a recipe using the candy that you may get tomorrow. There you go. So, see you Monday night. Bye, y'all.